morning and welcome to my Monday messages and for those of you who don't know me my name's Rebecca and I'm a homeopath I'm a um sorry the brain's gone this morning what am I I'm a homeopath I'm a holistic life coach and I'm a natural health advocate and I use my skills to to help as many people as I can to access whatever resources you need to live the best life that you can and to feel happy and joyful and um, feel yourself as much as possible so that you can achieve optimum physical, emotional and spiritual health. So that was a bit of a mouthful for a Monday morning. Um, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome if you're joining me live and you're equally welcome if you're watching the replay. So today I wanted to talk about something that I feel really um, passionate about because it's really changed a lot of things for me. And it's something that I've been aware of for a long time and I, I have spoken about it before, I know. Um, and it's particularly um, foremost for me at the moment, over the last kind of year or two years, really. And I was reminded of it by um, my lovely weekend reconnecting with my fellow QTT practitioners on uh, the most gorgeous retreat that we did. We, for obvious reasons, haven't got together for two years, maybe more, actually. And we had the opportunity to all gather together um, this weekend. And it was just beautiful to be in the energy of so many wonderful souls, um, the majority of them women, but three really gorgeous men um, in the room as well. And we did um, a great deal of connecting and catching up and practicing our skills, actually, and being reminded of them. And one of the things that we practiced, which was what reminded me of, uh, of today's topic, is the art of deep listening. And it's coming more and more into my life because when we access that resource, which is in all of us, and I believe particularly in the female energy, um, because we have both fe female and male energy within us, um, no matter what, what sex we choose to be, um, we, when we can access the resource of really listening to uh, ourselves, but also to someone else that we are in relationship with, um, whatever that relationship is, then we have a far greater chance of feeling what's going on, of accessing actually all our other senses and putting aside um, any need to be in the future. Um, and what do I mean by that? I mean that if we are able to just listen without any agenda other than that, we, and it does take practice, we put aside, okay, what, what am I going to say to this? What's my response to this? What's my reaction to this? Um, what, what, what can I do to make this person feel better? Um, what can I do to, um, or what can I say to, um, to soothe them in some way? And when we're doing that, the brain's working at trying to come up with suggestions or access stuff that we think falls into those categories. And it's not really fully present. It's not really listening to what that person is communicating. And it may not actually even be with words. It may well be that the real story is in the eyes, is in noticing somebody 
just catching themselves before they release a sob or a, a sigh or, you know, all of those things that are very subtle com um, communications, but they often speak, if we're listening, much louder than the words that are being said. Um, and it does take practice because we, we did a practice, actually, the whole group, and it was really interesting to see how many people actually couldn't stay silent while someone was talking, um, had to make noises or say something, um, or how many people found it deeply uncomfortable to just talk for, we were given 10 minutes. Um, and it feels like a long time if it's new to you. But actually, if you just allow yourself to sink into it and see what comes without any agenda, it's really interesting what comes up and how quickly you can actually start accessing what lies beneath um, rather than the words. Um, and also how you can really connect with somebody when you're not trying to think of what do I say next. Um, so what I wanted to encourage you to do this week is to practice that art of listening without speaking. So, um, and without, without, you're trying to think of oh, what am I going to say when it's my turn. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so perhaps if you want to improve any kind of relationship in your life at the moment, whether that's a partnership, perhaps it's one of, you know, a relationship with a family member, if you're a parent um, or if you're a child and you want to improve a relationship with a parent, um, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you can find somebody who's willing to do this with you, just practicing, maybe start with five minutes um, and see what you can build up to. That maybe put a timer on it. You know, if you're sitting down somewhere and somewhere quiet where you're not going to be interrupted, and just allow each of you five minutes uninterrupted to talk about whatever you feel is relevant at the time. Um, it could be how you are feeling about something in particular. It could be um, something that happened during that day. Um, it's a great way to connect at the end of the day, actually. And to come away from that exchange feeling heard. Um, it was a big trigger for me because I came out of a childhood where I felt um, a lot of the time I felt no one was listening to me, that I wasn't able to feel fully heard. And um, reflecting that back so that I can actually practice really hearing other people helps me also to feel that I can be heard if I, if I just practice at it and I put aside all the other stuff. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I really urge you to practice it because it's very powerful what, what can come up, both within you and also what you learn about other people when you allow them to feel heard. Um, and try not to get pulled into, you know, if somebody is in, in pain with something, allow it allow them to just express that uh, to you and for you to be the person who can hold space for them to do that if, if you can. I mean, if, it feel, if this feels really uncomfortable and, and you really are being triggered by the thought of this, um, then clearly no pressure. Um, don't do it. And if, if that's the case, then you may want to think about working with somebody um, who can help you to feel more comfortable about that. Um, 
But if you do feel, yeah, actually, I'll give it a go, let's see what happens, then um, it will transform any relationships that you have, including the one that you have with yourself, because you start to notice, ooh, okay, this person is talking about themselves and their own experience and what they've encountered during the day. Why am I feeling it so deeply? Is it triggering something in me? Is it resonating with me or am I feeling that connection? Yes, I feel you. I know I know what you're going through because I I feel the same. Or are you actually feeling you're just feeling what they're feeling? Either way, you're really deeply connecting with somebody and being able to say, I heard you, without going but or and or offering anything unless you're invited to, then that's essential for deep connections with any relationships. But also, it's the hallmark of a really good health professional, no matter what your modality is. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would make that my Monday message today. And I would love to hear how that makes you feel when you even think about sitting for five minutes without saying anything, just listening, and then you doing it back. Um, how does that make you feel? Um, do you think you can do it? Um, does it feel like an age? Um, or is it, yeah, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Um, in which case, well, in any, in any case, go practice because sometimes we think we can. And when it actually comes to it, it's quite hard. It's quite challenging. And noticing those things will, will help you grow and evolve. Um, and yeah, if, if you, if you're working with kids, for example, I find it very, um, helpful to have an object, a talking stick, um, a, a crystal, uh, a toy even that, that you say, okay, when you want to speak and you don't want to be interrupted and you really want someone to hear you, just hold this up and we'll know that you, that's what you need. Um, and that works for adults too, you know, lots of, um, societies across the world have a similar um, device that when you're holding a stick or a stone or something like that, that means it's your turn to speak and be heard. Very powerful. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, do leave any comments about this in the thread below. I'd love to hear from you. And as ever, if you want to know more about working uh, with me to help you to be able to do any of this stuff and to feel um, comfortable with yourself and able to be in the world as yourself, then do click on the link with this video. OK, have a fantastic week and wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.